Hey guys, this is Jerry. So today, I'm gonna talk about this statement that we see tossed around a lot. Feminism is equality. I'm gonna explain to you guys why it's so dangerous to say that. And no, I'm not saying women should go to the kitchen or that women are inferior. I grew up in China, it's a patriarchy. I know it's horrible for women. I'm not arguing that we should subjugate women. What I'm gonna talk about in today's talk is that this phrase, feminism is equality, is such a dangerous thing to say. And I'm gonna break it down. So, what does feminism mean? And what does equality mean, right? Let's, let's first of all break this down. Everyone I think knows what is means, right? Is means they're the same, basically. That's what is means. Although Bill Clinton would say something different. But anyways, so we can break down equality and go back, trace it back to sort of how it originated, how this word started. I mean, we all know equality means making things the same or making things uniform, right? That's, that's what equality means. If you trace back equality's word root, it goes all the way back to Latin, um, equalitas, basically. Um, so from the emergence of this word, it's always meant making things the same or making things equal, making things uniform. So let's, tr let's break down what the word feminism means, right? Feminism is a compound word. There's the word feminine there and ism. Ism is like an ideology or a practice of. Feminine can be broken down to female and effeminate. That's, that's the two words that make up feminine. And we all know what female means, right? Female just means someone who is you know, looks and is biologically a certain way. You can trace back female. Femal, femella, you know, French to Latin. Effeminate, you can trace it back to old 14th century French. Femini, however say it, sorry, I don't know French. The point is, effeminate's always meant of the female, things pertaining to the female. So, equality has always meant making things the same, making things uniform. Feminism and all its roots has always meant things related to females. So, feminism is equality. But if, if we're talking about equality, we're supposed to talk about everyone, right? It's, it's issues, it's things about everyone. Why, why are we only thinking about females? So, one of my favorite books, every kid in America is required to read it. And um, I'm sure you guys have read it. If you haven't, it's called 1984 by George Orwell. George Orwell was a British writer he wrote this book, 1984, 1946. Um, we had just won, the Allies that is, had just won World War II. And then he saw there was Cold War was starting to emerge. And even in the West, people were taking some of these ideas from socialism and trying to adapt it into their sort of capitalist Western society. So George Orwell, he wrote 1984, to kind of warn everyone, look, we can't go down the path of totalitarianism that China and Russia are going down. So 1984 was basically a warning. Basically in that, in, in his book, there's this big party that controls all aspects of life. And the way they do it, besides through force and through surveillance, is through these three slogans. War is peace. Freedom is slavery, ignorance is strength. So we all know what war means, right? War means two sides fighting, armed, or some sort of conflict that will result in a winner or a loser or some sort of compromise. That's what war is. Peace is when everyone gets along and there's no war. In the book 1984, the, there are these three superpowers, Eurasia, East Asia, and Oceania, and they're constantly at war. So to justify this, 
sort of norm of war, the party tells the people, war is peace, right? War is not peace. They're two absolute different ideas that contradict. But you say it enough times, it becomes kind of just the thing. Yeah, I guess, yeah, war, you know, it's peace. Eh. It's kind of how we are now in America. Freedom is slavery. If I'm free, that means no one can tell me to do anything. If I'm a slave, if I'm under slavery, that means my whole life someone's telling me to do something. I have to do it. So freedom is not slavery. Ignorance is strength. Ignorance means I don't know anything. I'm kept in the dark. Strength means I can stand on my own. I know everything. I can make decisions. So if I'm ignorant, I'm not strong. So all three of these slogans that the party espouses in 1984 contradict each other. And George Orwell invented this word in his book called double think. The act of holding two opposing ideas at the same time and somehow agreeing with it. That's what double think is. And that's exactly intentionally or unintentionally what saying feminism is a quality is. It's a form of double think. Feminism, the ideologies and the thoughts and the practices, the everything related to females is a quality, is holding the, talking about this, holding these beliefs, whatever system, whatever ideologies is making things the same, is making everyone equal. These things do not work together, but you say them enough, you start to believe that these two things can stand together. It's double think. It's just like war is peace. It's just like freedom is slavery. It's just like ignorance is strength. I mean, you might ask, okay, so why does that matter? Why can't, why is it that we, it's not good for humans to hold two contradictory ideas? And this goes back to this point up here. Language influences thought. Language influences thought. I don't know if you can see it up there. I know the light's a little bright. But how things are said will influence how people act, will influence how people think, right? If there's no word for some concept, then that concept is going to be harder to conjure up. And if two concepts that don't work together are forced together and put down our throats enough that we believe that they go together, that will influence how people act and how people think. And that's why it's very dangerous. We want everyone to be equal. I want people to be equal. You know, you can call me a humanist or whatever. I want all humans to succeed in life. I want everyone to live to their fullest potential. But if the predominant or whatever, the, the thing that everyone goes around saying is feminism is equality, then people holding that idea in their mind saying it all the time, you know, okay, all right, so feminism is equality. Okay, I'll, I'll do stuff, I'll help out women. That's equality, I'll help out women, and maybe I'm not even helping out men, or I'm fucking over men to help out women, but that's equality, right? Because feminism is equality. You see, this double think will change the way you act and change the way you approach problems. That's all it is. Language is very powerful, and you know, this is a very short video, considering how in-depth we can go into this topic. The key is, there is freedom of speech, but what we have to make sure is when ideas get mixed together that completely change and negatively affect how people think and how people act, there's no coercion, you know, I don't believe in that, but we have to call it out and we have to get un help people understand why it's wrong and we hope that society moves forward and people move forward from this mistake or this sort of aberration that's happening because we don't want to be living with double think 
and letting institutions and ideologies and groups who can exploit double think to their advantage to control us. So I hope you guys like this vlog. Leave a comment and tell me you subscribed if you haven't already or you can just explain your views. And I look forward to your comments. Have you guys read 1984? What do you guys think about feminism as equality? Do you guys believe that in language influences thought? Do you think language doesn't influence thought? Let me know. Thank you guys so much. Talk to you next time.